What's up guys, I'm Zane and today I'm going to show you how to categorize credit card payments in QuickBooks online. First, you should go to transactions, then you will see a box for each bank and credit card you have connected. You will see the checking and the savings. Select any one of these boxes to see the download of transactions for that account and here you will find all the transactions that QuickBook has downloaded from your bank the next step is to either confirm or review each of these transactions when you see confirm it means that QuickBox is suggesting a category for you when you see a review you will need to tell QuickBox what category the transactions should be in select that transaction to see more info make any changes or add any missing details you can change the category that QuickBox suggests or if there isn't a category selected choose one that best describes why you spent or received the money if the transaction is a sale categorize it as income select the income account that you use to track these kinds of transactions and if you are recording a purchase you made you usually categorize it as an expense but if the purchase is something that you will use over and over again for many years like a vehicle or a computer you should categorize it as a fixed asset and you can also add a specific category if you want QuickBox will learn your categories over time, making this process easier. You can also split a transaction into multiple categories, select the categories and add the amount for each. Just make sure it adds up to the total amount of the transaction. The vendor customer is optional, but it helps you run reports later to see who you paid or who paid you. You could also assign an expense or income to a particular project or customer so you can track the profitability of your work. Check this box to make an expense billable if you want to include the expense on a future invoice to the customer if you don't know who the transaction was with look at the bank detail this is information sent from your bank that usually contains the name of who you spent money with you can see more or less of this information by selecting the gear icon and then toggling on or off any of the fields you see once everything looks good select confirm and you can also save time by setting up rules for common transactions you might see some transactions that you have already recorded in quickbox or payments that you need to apply to open invoices and bills if quickbox detects that a transaction relates to something you have already entered you will see record found this prevents duplicates if the transaction you have in QuickBox matches with the bank sent, select confirm. However, if QuickBox is wrong and the match isn't correct, don't worry. You can select the categorize to add it to QuickBox as a brand new transaction. Or if you know you definitely entered the transaction into QuickBox and the match is wrong, select find other matches to match it to the correct transaction. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you guys in a new video.